Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, red uh, line segment uh, AB fully confined in a blue square ABCD as you can see in this given diagram such that uh, these uh, line segments uh, AG and uh, CF are perpendicular to this uh, red line and as a result we are ended up with this uh, green uh, shaded region and moreover uh, this uh, segment uh, AG is uh, 64 units whereas this segment uh, FC is uh, 40 units and now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, green shaded region please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe and please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, blue square ABCD I'm going to label uh, this uh, side length of this uh, blue square as uh, lowercase a then all of these uh, side lengths are going to be lowercase a as well and now let's recall the area of a square formula area is always equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square and in our case uh, the side length of this blue square is lowercase a so therefore uh, this blue square area is going to be simply a square so thus the area of this uh, blue square could be represented as a square and now let's assume that alpha and beta are our two complementary angles in other words the sum of these two angles alpha plus uh, beta must be equal to 90 degrees so therefore if I assume this angle is uh, alpha we know this uh, whole uh, angle is uh, 90 degrees so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta and furthermore we know this angle is 90 degrees this angle is beta so therefore this angle has got to be angle alpha and now in this uh, triangle this angle is alpha this angle is 90 degrees so this angle uh, has got to be our angle uh, beta and finally in this is our 90 degree angle this is our angle beta so therefore this angle has got to be our angle alpha and we know this is our 90 degree angle this is our angle alpha so therefore finally this angle has got to be our angle beta so therefore we conclude that these two right triangle uh, ABG and the other right triangle BCF are our congruent uh, triangles according to angle side angle congruency theorem and here uh, this uh, is uh, our uh, triangle uh, ABG and this uh, triangle uh, is our triangle uh, BCF and these uh, triangles are congruent since uh, this side is equal to this side and since uh, these uh, two triangles are congruent so therefore we conclude uh, that this uh, segment uh, FB is going to be equal to this uh, segment uh, AG and we know our uh, AG segment is uh, 64 units in other words I'm going to replace this AG with uh, 64 so therefore our uh, FB length uh, turns out to be 64 units as well and furthermore uh, this segment uh, BG is going to be equal to FC segment and in our case uh, our uh, BG is uh, this uh, segment and that is going to be equal to this segment uh, FC and we know our FC segment is 40 so I'm going to replace uh, this FC with 40 over here so therefore our BG segment turns out to be 40 units so thus our uh, this uh, BG segment uh, is going to be 40 units and furthermore since these uh, two triangles are uh, congruent so their areas are going to be congruent uh, as well if the area of this uh, triangle is uh, a sub 1 then the area of this uh, triangle is going to be a sub 1 uh, as well and here's our next step we are going to focus on these uh, two right triangles uh, this uh, right triangle uh, EFC and this uh, other right triangle uh, BFC and we can see that uh, 
these uh, triangles are our similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem and since these are our similar triangles so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words the ratio of the segment ef and cf is going to be equal to the ratio of the segments uh, cf and bf and we are interested in finding the value of uh, this segment uh, ef and now let's focus on this uh, cf segment length we know this segment length is 40 so i'm going to replace that one with uh, 40 over here likewise this uh, cf segment length is going to be 40 as well and finally this uh, bf length uh, we already figured out is 64 so i'm going to replace that one with the 64 over here as you can see in this uh, next step and now I'm going to multiply both uh, sides uh, with 40 on the left hand side and 40 on this side as well. And here we can see this 40 and 40 is gone. So therefore uh, our this uh, EF segment length uh, is going to be equal to if we multiply and simplify everything that is going to give us uh, 25 uh, units. So therefore our this uh, segment uh, EF length uh, turns out to be 25 units. And now let's make an observation. We can see that this uh, green shaded region area is going to be equal to the area of this uh, whole blue square uh, ABCD minus uh, 2 times the triangle uh, ABG area. And here I call this one 2 times uh, since uh, this triangle area is congruent to this uh, triangle area as well and finally minus the triangle uh, FEC area we are talking about this uh, triangle FEC area so therefore now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue square ABCD the area of the triangle uh, ABG and the uh, area of the other triangle uh, FEC as well and now we are going to focus on this uh, right triangle ABG and we are going to apply the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem A square plus B square equal to C square and in our case our hypotenuse is uh, lowercase a and our other two legs are 40 and uh, 64 let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this Pythagorean formula so we got uh, 40 square plus uh, 64 square is going to be equal to lowercase a square so therefore our uh, a square value turns out to be 56 uh, 96 but then we know that our uh, blue square area is equal to a square and our a square value is 56 uh, 96 so therefore our uh, blue square area is going to be equal to 56 uh, 96 uh, square units so thus our blue square area turns out to be 56 96 and now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, triangle uh, abg as well and now let's recall the area of a triangle formula area is always equal to a half times the uh, base times the height of the triangle and in our case uh, the base of this triangle is 40 and the height is uh, 64 so therefore the area of this triangle uh, abg is going to be a half uh, times uh, 40 times uh, 64 and now if we multiply and simplify that is going to give us 1280 square units and now we are going to calculate the area of this right triangle uh, FEC as well and we are going to use the very same area of a triangle formula once again area equals to a half times base times the height and in our case the base is 40 and the height is uh, 25 so therefore the area of this triangle FEC is going to be a half times 40 times 25 and if we simplify that is going to give us 500 square units and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this green shaded region and now let's recall this equation once again the green shaded area equals to blue square area minus 2 times the area of the triangle ABG minus the triangle FEC area and here we figured out our blue square area the area of the triangle ABG 
and finally the area of the triangle uh, FEC as well let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this equation so blue square area is 56 uh, 96 uh, minus uh, 2 th times uh, 12 uh, 80 and then minus uh, 500 and if we simplify that is going to give us uh, 2636 uh, square uh, units so thus the green shaded region area turns out to be 2636 uh, square units and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.